So now we're going to talk about the receiver. This receiver has a built-in antenna. Uh, it means you don't have to hook up additional antennas, but you do have to pay attention to the position of this. So again, ideally the position is not going to be like this. You want the transmitter and the receiver facing each other to get the best signal. Uh, then you want to select the available channel, pair them, okay, and then you will get a signal. All right. Now we're going to turn this on. Then we're going to hook up our SDI cable into the monitor. If you happen to have an HDMI monitor, there's also an HDMI out as well. Okay. Today we are going to do the distance test for the Cosmo 400. The way we're going to do this test is we have a camera mounted on a distance wheel focused on the digital output. This, the output of this camera, the HDMI output, is feeding this Cosmo 400 transmitter. And the transmitter is transmitting to this Cosmo 400 receiver and the output, the SDI output, is going into this monitor. I will then walk with this wheel and the signal will be transmitted back to this receiver and you'll see it on this monitor and that will be recorded. Okay? Um, it's important to get the best reception that the transmitter and the receiver both be at least five feet above the ground. I'm six feet tall. Okay? Um, if for some reason the transmitter needs to be much higher than the receiver, let's say if the camera's on a crane, then you should use the mushroom antennas, these, to get better transmission, all right? Um, also, notice the transmission antennas should be set as such, okay? And the receiver has built-in antennas, so you don't need to worry about setting them.